So we will start our discussion. Ratio analysis is our uh, topic. This is uh, a core knowledge in order to check the financial health and efficiency of a company. We will discuss what are the quality of the ratio as an analysis. Then we will see liquidity ratios, profitability ratios, factor that affect profitability, solvency, leverage. We'll see what are the common size financial statements and then we'll see the effects of off balance sheet financing. This is I will explain shortly. What is a ratio as a concept when we take two things when we divide with each other it become a ratio. And uh, but this ratio should have a meaningful way to understand and it should give a indication you know so like when we are sick we go to a doctor doctor does some test and the result comes and this interpretation of result become really important same way we as financial analyst we have balance sheet income statement cash flows so we link them into a meaningful ratios we see how good we are today tomorrow next week less than one year more than one year do we have short term ability to pay our obligation same time are we able to pay our long term obligations and are we doing business in profitability or we are in loss do we have enough gross margin or do we have enough operating profit so these kind of considerations are very important uh, we do 360 degree analysis through using financial and non financial information and we try to predict some behavior of the health and performance of the company so he says that ratio analysis is very useful for analyzing the financial performance sometimes alone even most of the time alone ratio will not tell you anything so you should have benchmarks standards industry standards and then uh, you might know your competitor ratios also so you can uh, get a inspiration or a trend so it will help you to boost up your strategies in terms of your financial health and adequacy So he says there are common benchmarks. Benchmarks are the uh, the standards uh, which we develop based on certain norms. So it becomes comparable for you. For example, if you want to be a singer and you want to be a pop singer, so Michael Jackson can be a benchmark for you. Then you will start comparing each and every component. This will give you a satisfaction that you are comparing yourself. with the best in class so you can compare yourself with the industry aggregate economy and you can see the firm past firm performances last 3 years 5 year 10 year performance that will give you a lot of information and indication about the companies starting with the, the first ratio is liquidity ratio maybe you have a very good home you have very good cars you have very good long term assets but today you don't have a money to put fuel into your car so all that you have long term assets you are today feeling handicapped you are stuck you know you if you don't fuel your car how you will move you know you have a very good mobile but you don't have money small money to pay your uh, mobile bill you know? so your mobile will not work so it it indicates that we as a company should have enough cash with us which should not stop our day to day operations so this we get through a liquidity ratios liquidity is the ability to pay your short term obligations so all companies at every time should have a liquidity ability to pay their short term obligations that's why bank offer this overdraft facility in order to arrange handle your short term obligations because sometimes company long term assets are very good but they don't have short term ability to survive 
liquidity is the firm's ability to pay its current obligation when it becomes due. Re liquidity ratios measure the ability to relating liquid asset to its current liabilities. In terms of formulas, you take your current assets, you divide them with current liability. This is the ratio. Uh, and it leads to a concept called working capital and it leads to a management called working capital management. In every point of time you try to increase your current assets more and you want to reduce your current liabilities. So your working capital should always remain positive. So what are current assets? These are we already discussed in part one when we study the financial uh, statements. But just for your uh, revision, he says current assets are those uh, which are is used for life as less than one year and they will convert into a cash. So they said they are expected to be converted to cash sold and consumed within one year. It includes um, cash, cash equivalents, marketable security receivables, inventories and prepaid items. These are your current assets. The most current is cash of course, then the bank and the least is uh, inventory because inventory might can take over the years to sell and convert into the cash. So that's why we make lot of ratios excluding inventory receivables because they may take more time to be collected. And we have current liabilities. These are your obligations that you have to pay in more than, less than one year. Your trade payable, receivable, uh, your uh, other kind of payable, your taxes, uh, short term, short term por current portion of long term debts, unearned revenue, tax payable, wages payable, and any kind of other payable expense payables that you have to settle in less than one year time. Uh, these are your current receivables. So we have current assets, uh, we, these are current liabilities and so now we have to match current assets minus current liabilities. Ideally assets should be more than your liabilities. Current assets minus current liability is your networking capital that tells you resources of the company has to continue in the short run if I had to liquidate all of your all of the current liabilities. So he took um, the example current year it is this much and prior year it is this much. So current asset uh, working capital has increased over the period of time. If we take the same current assets, we divide with current liability, it will become a liquidity ratio. We will call it as current ratio or working capital ratio. So you can see here that uh, 1.9 and 2.3, these are two data as given to us. So we just divide and we took the uh, current ratio.